Good morning. I hope you're having a great week. Man, the weather yesterday was just beautiful. I can't imagine a prettier spring day. Perfect to do just about anything you wanted to do. It was just a beautiful spring day in Tennessee. And that day followed a weekend where we had a hamburger cookout outside the church building under the pavilion. We had hamburgers and all the fixings and then we followed that with a period of singing out under the pavilion. And then yesterday morning, we had a great crowd at church. It's just really encouraging and uplifting. You know, I grew up in the church. From the time I was born until today, I've been going to church. I have worshiped in big congregations and even little small country churches. I've been in churches where I was the only guy there, all ladies and just one man. That became a one-man band, I guess you could say, or show. But I remember as a small child, always believing that God watched over me, always believing that God listened and answered to my prayers. And that came from the examples in the Bible teaching that I got as a small child. I remember going to bed every night as a small child and saying my prayers with my father there in the on the bed with me. I remember the topics of those prayers changed as I grew up. Things got more important, different things changed, priorities changed, I became more mature, knew what I was doing. But I always, and even to this day, I believe that the Lord is watching over me and that the Lord listens and answers my prayers. It brings me a peace brings me an extreme confidence in my life that I don't know what I would do without it. I've had the opportunity to go through some real sticky situations in my life, and I always approached those with a confidence that no matter which way things went, everything was going to be all right because the Lord was with me. You know, I don't know what would happen if something came along that stopped or hindered my prayers. What I don't know how I would feel if something got in the way of the confidence that I have with my Lord. What is it out there that could hinder my prayers? Well, I believe there are several things. But the other day, I was reading some real familiar scriptures. I came across something that I've read before. And I read it and thought, just what a shame it would be if this happened. I'd like to read to you those, that verse now. It's in 1 Peter Chapter 3, beginning in verse 7, this follows six verses, what Peter writes to wives and ladies about how they should act. And in verse 7, he says, Husbands, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, guys? Peter's writing, be considerate to your wives. Treat them with respect as the weaker partner and the partner in the gracious gift of life that God has given us so that nothing will hinder your prayers. That's pretty heavy if you let that sink in. And ladies, I believe this is one of those scriptures that works both ways. Don't do anything that's going to hinder your prayers. Pray continually. Rest in peace and with confidence that the Lord is with you, watching over you. Be safe. Stay well out there.